Hi there, uh, it's Brian from Maplist, and today I'm going to show you how to create a map using Maplist. So, first thing you'll need is a Gmail account uh, because the data from the data from your Google Sheets is what is the source of the map. So, if you're proven I have a Gmail account, next I'm going to log into our Maplist.com. I'm actually going to create an account. So, I'm going to click on Get Started, sign up. Great. On this next step here, uh, you're giving Mapalist access to your Google Docs. Uh, that allows from within Mapalist you to be able to look at your Google Sheets. So next I'm going to create a Google Sheet. I can go to sheets.google.com or I can just click on the view my sheets as, as I did here in the video. I can create a sheet with any name I want. Uh, in this case, we're going to um, plot pet shops in Paris. Pet shops shows. So I've got three sample addresses I want to pull here. I'm going to then just create uh, any columns, like column names I want in Maplist. It's, it's required that you have a column name. So I'm going to say address, and I have a country field. It's not required, um, but sometimes you have to help uh, the geocoders know kind of where to locate the address. If there's like a Paris, Texas, and a Paris, France, sometimes it's good. So if you have a country, you can add it. It's not required. So I'm entering in. Moustaches, dog in the city, and then two tails here. You can create your sheet initially, and then you can update it later. That's the, uh, that's the kind of one of the gifts of Maplist is that uh, you create your sheet, create your map off your sheet, and then you can kind of update your sheet as often as you like, and your map will automatically update. It does it once a day, or you can manually go in and say sync. So in this case here, I'm showing that. Uh, you can enter in a country. You don't have to enter in a country. Uh, great. So I reload from in there, and now Maplist can see all my sheets. It says, do you want to pull from uh, Pet Shows in Paris, Pet Shops in Paris? Uh, and that last step, I assigned the fields and make the best guess based on your column names. Okay, that was pretty quickly. Looks like we were able to geocode or turn the addresses from your sheet into latitudes and longitudes. Great. Uh, because we're talking about Pet Shops, Let's go ahead and shift a select a pet icon. So we change. So from this page here, your map's already created. I'm just doing some customization. I'm changing the pin size. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll change the map background to, to night or something. Map style. It's like nighttime in Paris. Um, great. So I can rename my map if I want to have a map title. So uh, let's call it uh, Pet Shops in Paris. S is silent. Ish. Okay, awesome. So now I've created my map. Uh, now by default, Maplist maps are private, meaning you can only see them. But so uh, you can change them to public if you want, if you want to include them on a web page or share a link with, with somebody. So I should change the public here. Um, now I'm going to do some optional stuff. I'm going to change the map style. Uh, and you can see that it changes there. Um, what's the next thing you decide to do here? So you could automatically, you can alternatively manually set the center of your map. In this case, I'm setting it to Paris, Texas. So now I reload the map, it's centered over Texas, and that doesn't make sense because we're actually talking about Paris, France, so I clear that out. Um, sync history is, uh, so once a day, we automatically sync your map. But uh, you can sync it as often as you want. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a new record to the map. Uh, and we're going to show how you can manually sync it. All right, so I'm going to sync the map. Now, if it's not an inline operation, it might take a couple minutes for it to be synced. So I'm showing here how you can uh, share your map if you wanted to. So let's see. Uh, here you can print your map. Now we're back, so we're going to go ahead and view the sync history. So we see here, okay, cool, the number of points changed from that sync that we did a couple minutes ago. We refresh, but oops, one of the pins is like uh, geocoded into Germany. So what we're going to do to fix that is uh, give it kind of give some more data to kind of say, hey, this is definitely in France. And so we, you know, we're providing more precision to our Google Sheet. And again, this is a waiting game. You press sync, 
you know, might, might need to wait a minute or two. In this case, it says, hey, the sheet's not been updated. Well, we did update the sheet. So uh, here I'm kind of like, hey, why did that happen? Uh, I think that it's just, so I'm going to try to just finagle it and update the sheet once again. Good. All right, so now I update the sheet again. Sync again, this might take a moment. Okay, I clicked refresh a couple times. All right, looks like it was updated 13 seconds ago. Let's take a look at the map, refresh. Perfect. Voila, they're all in print. Hello, thanks for watching. Um, it is, I uh, hope you found that helpful. Engie and I intend to put out a couple more uh, tutorial videos to see if how they're received and to see if people find them helpful, more helpful than. Um, the blog post that we had done previously. If you like the video, I know this is not the last thing you're supposed to say, uh, please give a thumbs up uh, to help other people find it. And uh, if you want to, and uh, you may also click on the subscribe button if uh, you want to be alerted when we put out new content.